So before President Donald Trump, there was President Ronald Reagan. And let's talk about it. Hi everybody, I am Kenya and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is February 1st, so happy Black History Month to all my black people, you know what I'm saying? So basically this video today was inspired by a book that I'm reading. It is called Poverty by America, written by Matthew Desmond. Now I did read his other book called Evicted. So he also wrote this book called Evicted, which was also a good one. I recommend that you guys all go read it. But as of lately, I've been reading this book. I'm exactly 119 pages into this book. And every time I'm reading books about social issues, urban planning, or anything of that sort, Ronald Reagan's name always comes up always comes up and so i did like a little dive i didn't do a deep dive but like more like a splash you know just to see what ronald reagan was about and this is what i came up with so i have 10, 10 ways in which ronald reagan's policies somehow affected the black community black people in general black americans you know we have president donald trump who was crazy to say the least so before trump there was ronald reagan so ronald reagan was actually the 40th president of the united states ronald reagan played a big part in systemic racism in the united states so systemic racism also known as institutional racism are policies and practices that exist throughout a whole society or organization that results in and support a continued unfair advantage to some people and harmful treatment of others based on race or ethnic groups. It manifests as discrimination in areas such as criminal justice, employment, housing, healthcare education, and political representation. And this is all according to Wikipedia. So let's just get into 10 ways that Ronald Reagan's policies and his actions affected black people, especially black Americans. So number one, Ronald Reagan vetoed against sanctions against South Africa's apartheid regime. And so if you don't know, to veto something is to forbid it or stop it from being put into action. Number two, Ronald Reagan openly defended housing segregation by arguing that property owners have the right to discriminate against Negroes. Okay? Number three, Ronald Reagan challenged affirmative action stating that it will cause reverse racism against white men. Number four, Ronald Reagan opposed the creation of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So King was accused of being a communist. However, Reagan signed the bill into law on November 2nd, 1983. Number five, Ronald Reagan was known for Reaganomics, okay? So you ask, what was Reaganomics all about? So Reaganomics was cutting federal income taxes, cutting the U.S. government spending budget, cutting programs, scaling down the government workforce, maintaining low interest rates, and keeping a watchful inflation hedge on the monetary supply was Reagan's formula for a successful economic turnaround. Okay, so I guess this, they're saying that inflation, the inflation that we're experiencing now is supposed to help the economy, but when? So Reagan was also responsible for the largest amount of tax cuts for social programs, housing, education, you know, health care, which we call Medicaid or Medicare, all that stuff that helped the lower income. Number six, Ronald Reagan opposed the 1964 Civil Rights Act. So on March 16, 1988, President Ronald Reagan vetoed the bill by arguing that the act represented an overexpansion of government power over private organizational decision making and would diminish substantially the freedom and independence of religious institutions in our society. But on March 22nd, 1988, the Senate overrode Reagan's veto by a vote of 73 to 24. Number seven, Ronald Reagan opposed the 1965 Voting Act. So the Voting Rights Act is a landmark federal law enacted in 1965 to remove race-based restrictions on voting. Okay, so that affected black, indigenous people, brown people in this country so that our votes will be counted and because our votes do matter. 
And number eight, this one is like a huge one that affects all of us. And I just feel like white people voted against their own interests and they didn't realize it. And I feel like we are all being affected by this. So Reagan was responsible for helping to end free college once black and Latin X students began enrolling. Now there is $1.7 trillion in student loan debt as of today. And it's probably going to be more after I post this video. <laughs> So Ronald Reagan stated the reason for changing tuition to attend college was to, quote, get rid of undesirables, end quote, okay? Reagan's advisor, Roger Freeman, warned that free college would create a dangerous, educated proletariat. Now, a proletariat are just basically workers or the working class. So you're a working class, you're a worker like me, we are proletariats, okay? <laughs> So number nine is Reagan is responsible for the term welfare queen and young buck to refer to black people that leech off of the government, basically creating stereotypes about black people that utilize government resources. I find it interesting that I'm just learning that Ronald Reagan was basically responsible for the term welfare queen because for a while there were black men going around calling women welfare queens and it's like <laughs> y'all are using the words of your oppressor to oppress your own people i swear slavery has done a number on so many black people and we're still seeing effects on slavery till this day and hopefully that will change before i leave this earth number 10 the iran contra affair was ronald reagan's biggest scandal I've like heard about it a little, but I didn't know that it was called the Iran-Contra affair. So, Ronald Reagan's administration illegally sold weapons to Iran to fund the Contra rebels in Nicaragua. Nicaragua. I can never say that word right. Excuse me. The Contras were a group that Reagan had secretly had the CIA to create, okay? However, the ships that were used to transport the guns to Nicaragua were also used to transport cocaine into the United States. And we always hear in the black community that the government put guns and drugs onto the streets. Also, if you haven't watched They Clone, Who Cloned Tyrone, I think it's called, Who Cloned Tyrone on Netflix, go watch it. Back to the topic at hand. This whole situation inspired Ronald Reagan's wife, Nancy Reagan's Just Say No campaign, which was the precursor to the Anti-Drug Abuse Act of 1986. And the Anti-Drug Abuse Act of 1986 basically punished the possession of having crack more harshly than having cocaine. And we all know that cocaine is associated with like Wall Street workers, like the upper class white people and crack was associated with like black people, Latin people, and lower class people. Sorry, my washing machine is going. This is a bonus. So, so recently, newly public tapes revealed a conversation between Ronald Reagan and former president Richard Nixon, where Ronald Reagan was heard on these tapes saying, that, so in the wake of the United Nations vote to recognize China, Ronald Reagan said, to see those monkeys from African countries, damn, they're still uncomfortable wearing shoes, end quote, when referring to the leaders of African countries who supported China. So if we thought that Donald Trump was a wild boy by all of the stuff he used to say that would bring out the racism in people in middle America, before Donald Trump, that was Ronald Reagan, okay? <laughs> Now, Ronald Reagan was before my time, like, I think he was president before I was born. I was born in the 80s. So, when we talk about systemic racism as black people, the gaslighting of, oh, that was so long ago, don't worry about it. Like, you just have to work harder. As black people, we were told, go to college, you work hard, you can get the nice house, you can get the nice cars. And we all did that, and guess what? They moved the goalposts. You know but anyway i'm reading this book poverty by america written by matthew desmond if there are any other books that you recommend that i read drop it in the comment i love to read so with that being said i would like to thank you guys for coming to kick it with me today and i will see you guys in my next youtube video toodles <laughs>